Everything we believe Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Mr. Coz, or Coz from Gaming Or Coz's Room, which if you guys prefer And today in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys About Five free ways You can make thumbnails, or easy ways You can make thumbnails, and how I make Some of my thumbnails, and all that fun stuff And before I even get into this video I need you guys to like, share, subscribe And comment below, and turn on post notifications If you want to I'd prefer if you did, it would mean a lot to me, it means you guys can see my videos faster and sooner, it's about as soon as I upload, and I usually do daily uploads if you're into that kind of thing, so I do how-tos, and I do gaming, let's plays, all that fun stuff. Lately, I'm actually bringing back my Skyrim series and daily vlogging, and I am also playing Dark Souls 3. We'll be playing South Park here pretty soon, if you guys are interested. Don't forget to check out my other videos, it means a lot to me. Now, let's get into this video. Now... Well, one of the main things that you could use is called Pixlr, and it's actually a very interesting website. And it's not—it's more so like the beginners who like it—the easier kind of layout of the web. The website is very easy to use. It's user-friendly, especially for beginners. And if you don't like to use very complicated programs such as Photoshop and if you're not that kind of tech savvy kind of person then this would be the one for you now vector on the other hand is a lot more like photoshop with the online version and it's free very very well made website and it's i definitely recommend it as well actually i recommend all five that i'm showing you guys but this one's more so for people who like photoshop but don't want to buy photoshop which i do have a video on how to get photoshop for free the Link will be in the description, so check that out if you get the chance. Now, the next one is Paint.net. Now, Paint.net is very, it's kind of weird. It's similar to the other ones, but not as user friendly as Pixlr, Pixlr but a lot easier. But, like, let me explain it this way it's not as hard to use, but it's a little bit more or less user friendly, if that makes sense. It's like less complicated, but more not user friendly which kind of sucks they should probably up up their you know make their user friendliness better that's a word gimp on the other hand i'm not a big fan of it but if people like their like if you want something that's very very simple go right ahead be the one for you now pink monkey it's it's interesting you can use it on mobile devices and tablets and computers, and it's actually pretty rad. Now, on the mobile device, it'll be kind of dumbed down a little bit, I like to say. Makes it a lot more user friendly and all that fun stuff. But on the desktop one, you get a lot more features compared to it. it it's interesting how they have that set up. I, I kind of like that feature. On mobile devices, it's a lot easier tablets and computers it's not I think that's kind of cool that they put that in there I think they should keep that going and probably just work upon from there what more feet could be you have more features on the desktop than you do on the mobile which is pretty rad now that's gonna about do it for these I hope we're doing, if you guys are in this fun video comment your favorite mm, favorite meme my favorite meme is the noise meme right now or it is Wednesday my dudes and if you guys are this far, and mean a lot to me, if you guys like, share, subscribe, and comment below, turn on post notifications, tweet to me that you did, and you guys get a free shout out that way. Check out that giveaway, and check out my other videos, they mean a lot to me. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out, guys. Yeah.